This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abedur Planner, Mr. Green, Camp Power, and Marcus Biel. Good morning. It's now 7:30 here in Changdao, Thailand. This is pretty far north in Thailand. And by the way, I don't live here. This is the new house for Amory's parents. But uh, yes, I help uh, funding it. And just like Norwegians, they have a cabin on the mountain or a cabin by the sea. We have a little house here we can use for vacation slash work. So um, um, now we're looking at the PV. So the sun hasn't, well, the sun is about to come up, I guess. But over here, it tends to be like this in the morning that it's a little bit foggy. And then usually after the sun has come up for about an hour, then the fog clears up. So even during foggy weather, we are getting, well, okay, okay, I just refreshed. We're getting 81 watts <laughs> from, from the 5 kvp system. So it's not much at all, but at least it's starting to work a little bit. But I have to explain that uh, we have applied for, um, to the PA, the Provincial uh, Electricity Authority, to sell electricity back to the grid but it takes six months for the, the government, uh, whatever, to process this. And in the meanwhile, we cannot send back to the grid, which means that if we are producing something, or we, if we have the potential for the PV to produce something, uh, and we are not spending it, it will just be not sent anything anywhere. So that's why I need to put some load on the system to see if we are producing anything at all. And uh, here we have MacGyver, my Tesla Model 3 in Thailand. Again, I didn't move to Thailand. I still live in Norway. We're going to build a big house in Jessheim. But, um, uh, yes, yeah, long story. But, and okay, so you see, I charge at minimum 5 amp now just to, just to have some, some pull here. I, can, I could just turn on the TV or do something else, but uh, just charge a car, I guess, easy. Uh, and you see, we are pulling roughly one, yeah, a little bit, a little bit more than one kilowatt. It rounds it up to, I mean, it runs it down to one kilowatt. And then I have to say that this, this app is called Solar Fusion from Huawei. And it is super slow to update. If I would change the, the current on the Tesla, uh, you will not see it here until after five to 10 minutes. It has roughly five, 10 minutes uh, refresh time. And then it, it doesn't re refresh that often. That's what I'm saying. So, um, all right, but anyway, now I need to go and buy some khao niang mo bing. This is the, one of the local food places. There are lots of these street food places. And uh, this is one of the best mo bing you can get around here. So you see, we offset for the CO2 by firing with coal. And that's when it tastes the best. So it's just pork that is grilled. And then it's, uh, well, it's not, not spicy at all. It's just, yeah, it tastes uh, salt and a little bit sweet, but really delicious. And it only, takes around uh, five minutes to grill it so each of these is five baht each with is uh, less than one nook around uh, around 15 cents roughly for each of them oh yeah mm -mm -mm. we went for eight of these four each for me and wifey and then this is really fresh um, sticky rice 10 baht so this is 50 baht total, which is uh, enough for me and wifey for breakfast. And uh, it costs uh, about uh, 12, 13 uh, uh, nook, which is uh, yeah, uh, 1.2 uh, euros roughly. So this is the best of oh, local food, fresh made. We're back and uh, it's eight now and things are starting to happen. We are getting 180 watts. <laughs> Not much, but uh, well, at least it would be plenty to uh, charge electric scooter with. But um, you can actually see, I don't know if you can see it, there are tiny droplets in the air. You can't see, but you see, there's like a, like 
a constant haze over the picture. So of course that blocks the, the light. So this is uh, interesting because I never, I was never interested in PV or light or the angle of the roof or anything like that before until now. So <laughs> I found this interesting. By the way, yesterday Amory's dad chopped down some of the um, um, bamboo trees there, trees. But uh, I think he will also chop some more over here. Yes, always be chopping A, B, C. Uh, and also some of those other trees back there that we also need to chop them But that's outside of our property. So we need to just ask for permission to uh, chop some more well, Okay, I think it's time for some breakfast with wifey It's now 10 in the morning. The Sun has been up for uh, Actually almost an hour. I think I think it came up around half an hour. No, almost an hour ago You see it's it's over there kind of you can see the reflection and versus the roof it has somewhat bad angle right now but uh, we are producing or we are getting almost uh, two kilowatts well, roughly 1.9 kilowatts so that's still okay ish so but uh, you see that um, when you look at the graph uh, the production or the, the rather the power uh, ramps up and then i had to adjust in time because it was actually yeah um, i wasn't pulling enough power to uh, Get the maximum output from the from the PV. So the PV was going a little bit under what it should be. So I always have to A B C always be consuming. <laughs> but okay, it's good enough. So interesting to see the production also. We have to wait for the full graph. So, but yeah, I'm gonna show you by the way, since we are here. Here you see Thai style toilet. I guess this is the cheapest way of building a toilet. <laughs> uh, I haven't tried this before. May has tried it. I think wifey also refuses to, to use this toilet. It's, it's as basic as you want it to be, as cheap as you want it to be. Well, there's a little uh, drainage hole there. There's even a, look here, butt spray. I love this shit. Ugh. <sighs> Yeah, okay, but uh, I don't know where we're supposed to wash our hands afterwards. And, uh, well, it's also the self-ventilating toilet. Huh? Do you like this shit? Do you like this shit? Well, yes, uh, so from previous episode, I mentioned that uh, the installers, they're, they're coming back. And yes, they're setting up now. So, you see, we're going to add three more panels. It will cost me a little bit extra, but this is, like I said, I'm a noob when it comes to PV. I found out this afterwards that we should add three more panels. So let me try to explain now. I'm gonna sit down a little bit. Um, we have a 5 kvp system, well, 5 kwp, which is like the peak power, all right? But the problem is that it's winter over here now, and the angle of the sun is actually yeah, not optimal. And for the best uh, production, you want to wait until, I mean, you get the best production around well, summer, hot season, and then rain season. Then uh, you will have stronger sun and uh, about, oh, I don't remember the figures, but the production during those months versus now is roughly 20 to 40% higher. So actually January is actually the worst time for, for production. Not, I mean, we have the sun here, no problem. But the problem is the angle of the sun. So, uh, but so, okay, so, and what does this have to do with the three extra panels? Well, I experienced yesterday that um, uh, even at noon, I, I was actually expecting that noon would be the best time. It turns out when I look on uh, time and date that the, the actual best noon when the sun is at the best angle is actually roughly half an hour past noon. But anyway, close to noon, I was only getting 3.4 kilowatt, and I was expecting close to five kilowatt, but I guess you can never get that. The, what, what you buy is not what you get, right? Just like in the old days when you bought a 17 inch CRT screen, you would not get 17 inch screen. The visible area on the CRT screen or the 17 inch is usually roughly 15.7 inches only. What about those other 1.3 inches? Well, loss, I guess. <laughs> well, okay, back to this one. So 
So it turns out that, um, um, okay, one, one more thing I should mention is that the angle of the roof also has something to do with this. I'm a noob, I'm learning about this. I look at the angle of the roof now and I estimate it to be seven degrees. Now, uh, what you want to do is during winter, I checked also on, on the website that it, it check you it will ask you which country you are in and then which city and I, I had to choose Chiang Mai which is close enough 75 kilometers from here but according to the the app or according to the website during winter you want to actually have the the panel to be tilted around 30 40 degrees and I only have seven degrees that's one of the reasons why the output was so low so which means that um, if we wait until May, uh, April, May, then we only need around 10 degrees and then the roof will be in perfect angle. But as for now, or actually uh, roughly six months of the year, uh, we will have not so optimal angle. But then in the second six half, we will have near perfect angle. So um, I also ask uh, EV Power Energy if there is any way to tilt it. Uh, they, they have stuff but it's going to cost you extra. Some of that stuff is even motorized but then uh, the gain by tilting it is not that great. They're talking about something between 5 and 7 percent extra power if you tilt it in the, the correct one. But again, I mean we have to have a sunflower design here where the, it follows the, the, uh, the sun basically. So it's like the, the okay it's a good compromise now. But it means that for m most of the time, I won't be getting the five kilowatt, which the converter, I mean, sorry, the inverter can take. But by adding three extra panels, even in winter now, we should be getting roughly four, four and a half. I mean, we should be getting uh, over four and a half kilowatt. And then that means that during summer times, it will be cut, or it, it will just hit the max and it will just be flat. So what we're going to see in summer in just three, four months is that it will just kind of, it will be clipping it, but that's fine. So uh, they gave me a good deal, which is that three extra panels and I only pay for two of them. So I'm like, okay, I'll take it. And I want to see the effect of this. So yeah, and also another thing is that we tend to come here in summer. I mean, sorry, we tend to come here in winter and it's in this, these times during winter that we would be spending extra energy charging up the Tesla. So that's why I just take the extra cost. But for most other people, maybe you don't want to do this. Maybe you just want to add one extra panel or two extra panels. You go a little bit above the, the, the KVP will be slightly higher than the, the, um, uh, the panel, I mean, the, the inverter. Uh, but, but also, <laughs> um, at least in Thailand, the regulation, the law says that we can do this with the panels can exceed the five kilowatts because we have three phase. But if you have one phase, then they, they actually count the panels, not the inverter, because the inverter is basically the bottleneck, but it's kind of silly, the system. You will look at the panels and say, no, you cannot exceed five kilowatts. <laughs> but for three phase we can then the limit is 10 kilowatt and we are way within the 10 kilowatt so all right now you're just going to wait uh, this shouldn't take too long because there is no need to do much they just have to wire up the new ones the inverter the, the cabling and everything is just like before so yeah it's now one in the afternoon and the sun is roughly at its strongest it actually passed a little bit past the peak power so um um, yeah, the, the installers, they are gone. G-O-N, it's been done. So um, now I just want to try to just use, spend as much as we can now, uh, up until the point where, yeah, I'm gonna show you. So see, we are now using, this is a charger for the electric uh, bike, electric scooter. 400 watt it pulls. Okay, this one here, it's being charged now. and. I use this timer, huh? it's actually from Klaus Olsson in Norway. You press once, it has four stages. You press once and it stays on for one hour. So it's one to four hour timer just to cut it because we don't want to charge it to 100%. And I think it's actually getting close to, well, the voltage will of course be higher when you uh, charge it. Yeah, it says 99%. Actually, well, let's, let's try to cut the power, see what happens. 
uh, we can just uh, well we can just unplug it like this and uh, the voltage will drop a little bit yeah so it's just 98 but this is actually voltage based so it's kind of weird because once you are below 40 30 percent it will drop really quick <laughs> but okay so usually this is what we're going to do is that in the daytime uh well the, the electric uh, motorcycle needs to be recharged only roughly once per week so the other uh, one is gone now it's just out doing some service i guess someone is riding it but what we want to do is to charge the car in the daytime because remember that we cannot sell electricity yet so if we don't spend it the pv will not produce anything it's been pro programmed to do that and i can show you here it's kind of hard to see maybe there ish that we are getting 4.4 kilowatt we are peaking at 4.5 kilowatts so remember that this is the winter month the worst case so uh, in a couple of months it will be way better and we should actually cap at five kilowatt um, so i asked the installers uh, well you, we could change the angle and it will improve it by maybe five percent up to ten percent but by adding extra panels you get a better effect of it and you, ha you have other benefits of it so one uh, bonus with having pv now in the house is that the voltage in the house used to be a little bit lower but the pv actually helps boost the voltage which also improves the charging speed in case you want to charge faster so we can try to increase it to uh, 32 amp what's going to happen now is that uh, the pv will support 4.5 kilowatt and then it pulls the rest from the grid so let me see yeah even if you're pulling 32 amp we have 214 volt i think we're getting around five volt higher now because of the pv but watch this is always a struggle because you wanna you want to be right on the edge where we are pulling exactly what we are producing uh, but I guess it's no big deal because you we will be pulling 500 watts from the grid which is no big deal but what you don't want to do is pull too little because then the PV is not yeah we are not utilizing everything so of course we want to have a system where we can well this thing here will do automatically but then the Tesla needs to talk to the inverter in the house and i don't know if i have any system that can work against like that huh. we are now on our way to uh, chiang mai so four people me and the three girls as usual yeah we charge the car to 69 percent mostly on solar power and uh, actually um we're going to do um, ceramic pro coating the same shop we did the uh, doramon we love it so much and actually i i feel like this this car here misses the hydrophobic effects or the properties so yes we want to have ceramic pro on top of lumar ppf just like mc hammer in norway and also the owner of uh, the ceramic pro shop he will lend us aura good cat 400 pro it's the one with a smaller battery but i'm going to do some tests with it so i'm looking forward to that one yeah oh listen listen look look look, look. autopilot oh well it it actually worked <laughs> okay all is good yeah okay we didn't get uh, too far we are right by the police checkpoint there's a cafe here and wifey needed to eat so priority number one always feed the baby so anyway do you guys do you guys remember what this is <laughs> Some of my okay, how do you dial 911 here? Huh? That's a quiz for you right there. You do it like this. Someone call 911. Okay, all right. Yes, look at it. Look at it. Look at the view. Banyakadi. It's a nice scenery. You can sit here and chill and watch the view. Hmm, Namping. This river here. Yeah, it's called Namping. It runs all the way to uh, to Bangkok. Hmm. Food is here. Okay, we have kanom jin. Any kanom jin, not like nam jiapu. Okay, uh, crab, and then kanom jin, um, nam nyeo, uh, pork, swine, and then for me, I went for uh, a Thai style omelette with uh, minced meat. Mm -mm -mm. And also, my, one of my favorite is uh, lemon iced tea, uh, iced tea baby. 
So, mm, mm, mm. let's dig in. I'm going to test how good this is. I need to test, I need to try a wife's knob gin also. It's a bit spicy usually for me. อืมโอ้โหกูจะไม่เป็นไรกินอะไรก็ได้เลี้ยงง่ายนะกินกินได้ทุกอย่างยกเว้นยกเว้นหูหมูเครื่องในของเผ็ดไปเอ่อของของด